So can we begin, Archana? Yes, Gurudev. You can begin. Are you going to? Yes. How are we going to do it? Are you going to translate? I'll, yes, I will translate in Thai. Okay. Omagyana Tmaranda Syakana Jana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanyena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagadvate Gopisha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindavanishwari Vrishabhanu Sate Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pricharine Nirvishesha Sanyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadha Sri Vasati Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Vanchakaupatarubhyasya kripa sindhu bhaivacha patita nam pavani bhyo vaishnavi bhyo namo namaha. So today of course is the very, very auspicious day of the appearance day of Srimati Radharani, who is the personification of the pleasure potency of Lord Krishna. Srila Prabhupada describes Srimati Radharani that she is the greatest devotee of Krishna, that she loves Krishna more than anybody else. And Prabhupada also notes how the people in Vrindavan, they all seek the mercy of Srimati Radharani. They approach Srimati Radharani because they know that by approaching her, she will bring them to Krishna. And the people of Vrindavan don't go to Krishna directly, but they go to Krishna through Srimati Radharani. And they know that if they can get the blessings of Srimati Radharani, then certainly Krishna will accept that devotee. So understanding the position of Srimati Radharani, we can understand that today is the most important day on the calendar because she is the most important of all the devotees of Krishna. Lord Shiva tells us, Aradhanam Sarvesham Vishnu Aradhanam Param. That of all kinds of worship, the worship of Vishnu is the greatest. Uh, 
But even greater than the worship of Vishnu is the worship of those things in relationship to Vishnu. So Srimati Radharani is the queen of Vrindavan. Actually, the forest of Vrindavan belonged to Vrinda Devi, but Vrinda Devi gave them to Radharani. So Srimati Radharani is the queen of Vrindavan. Yes. So in Chaitanya Charitamrita, the author Krishna Daskavi Raj Goswami describes how at the time of the appearance of Lord Krishna 5,000 years ago, it was a very special time because it coincided with the appearance of Krishna for two different purposes. Lord Krishna comes as through his expansion Vishnu to take care of the the affairs within the universe to sometimes he has to kill demons and he has to establish religious principles so this is usually done by vishnu <laughs> As he says in Bhagavad Gita, Sambhavami Yuge Yuge. In every yuga, the Lord comes to keep the order within the universe. But 5,000 years ago, it, when it came time for the appearance of the Lord to uh, keep the order in the universe, it was also the time for the Lord to come for a very special purpose to reveal his very special pastimes in the spiritual world. Uh, yeah, the Lord comes only one time in a day of Brahma for this purpose. He wants to show, he wants to show the people of this material world his very special confidential pastimes in Goloka Vrindavan. And, and he wants to show them also the importance of spontaneous devotional service, which is above the service according to the rules and regulations. So we see there, there are some people, they are Vaishnavas, they worship Vishnu. There are other people, they are Krishnites, they worship Krishna. But the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, they worship Srimati Radharani. Mm -hmm. 
Sabusha uh, Radharani. So, so we learn from Srimati Radharani how to serve Krishna in that mood of Raga Bhakti or sometimes we would simply say Radha Bhav in the ecstasy of Radharani's love for Krishna. It is said that when Krishna came, he, he saw how he was getting a lot of pleasure from his pastimes with the gopis. But he saw that the gopis were getting even more pleasure than him. And of all the gopis, the go one gopi who was getting the greatest pleasure was Srimati Radharani. She, she was revealing to everyone how to give everything for the pleasure of Krishna. In Vaikuntha, the devotees in Vaikuntha are all pure devotees, but they serve Krishna according to the rules and regulations. So they worship Krishna in the mood of awe and reverence and they give great respect and show great veneration for Krishna. But, but Krishna gets more pleasure where there's intimacy in the dealings between him and his devotees. And in order to experience to, in order to have this relationship with Krishna, one has to come, one has to go above the rules and regulations and come to the level of Raga Bhakti, of sp spontaneous devotion. So when one follows all the rules and regulations perfectly, then one will gradually come to that level of spontaneous devotion. To give an example, a simple example, just like in the beginning, when we want to get up in the morning to go to the Mongol RT, we may have to use the alarm clock to wake us up in the morning. We have to set the alarm to wake us up because we're not used to waking up very early. But after some time, after we become, uh, develop the habit of waking up, then we don't need the alarm clock. We wake up on our own without the clock. So, 
ต่หลังจากที่เราได้ตื่นเป็นประจำแล้วเนี่ยก็จะหลังๆก็ไม่จำเป็นจะต้องใช้นาฬิกาปลุกแล้วก็จะตื่นเองตามธรรมชาติ So spontaneous devotion is like that that one is he he he's not dependent on rules and regulations he automatically naturally has a desire to serve Krishna So in Vaikuntha, everyone is in the mood of being the servant, but in Goloka Vrindavan, in Goloka Vrindavan, the mood is to be Krishna's friend or Krishna's parent or Krishna's lover. เพราะฉะนั้นที่เอ่อไวคุนธ์จ้ะใช่มั้ยคะทุกคนเนี่ยจะรับใช้คริชนาเหมือนกับว่าท่านเนี่ยเอ่อเป็นการรับใช้จะ
่ it doesn't it doesn't happen not แล้วว่าภาวะรกายของร่องเนี่ยเป็นอมตะใช่ไหมคะ Right? In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, "The foolish mock at me, coming amongst them. They think I'm an, an ordinary person. They do not know my transcendental nature and my supreme dominion over everything." So Krishna has a spiritual body, and in the same way, s r i m a t i Radharani also has a spiritual body. Her body is also not material. Her body is full of bliss and knowledge and eternity. And all the gopis, there are many, many thousands and thousands of gopis. They are all expansions of s h r i m a t i Radharani. And the goddesses of fortune, they are also expansions coming from s h r i m a t i Radharani. So just as Krishna is the original male, s h r i m a t i Radharani is the original female. So Srila Prabhupada was very careful in introducing us to the worship of Radha and Krishna because it's a very high, very special. It's on a very high level. Often people. People often people think of the pastimes of Lord Krishna with the gopis and Lord Krishna with Radharani. They, they think of them to be mundane sexual affairs, but actually they have nothing to do with the material world. <laughs> เหมือนที่ในโลกนี้มีใช่ไหมคะเขาจะสามารถคิดไปในหลักทางนั้นได้ They are they have come they come into this world to show us the spiritual world and in the spiritual world everything is pure there's no contamination there's no bad habits there's no uh, There's no degradation or you know fault, bad qualities. Everything is very pure and transcendental. So we see in the material world, the young man and the young woman come together. Then there's a lot of sex desire manifested, but in the spiritual world, there's no sex as we know it in the material world. In the material world, there's so much lust, but in the spiritual world, there's no lust. There's only love. Love, love means to Krishna. That all of the living entities, 
they have an eternal relationship with Krishna and they want to develop their love for Krishna. And from the path, from the activities and behavior of the gopis, particularly Srimati Radharani, we learn how to love Krishna. The Srimati Radharani from the very beginning of her appearance in this world, she was only attached to Krishna. She did not see any other man except Krishna. Therefore, when, wherever there are pastimes of Radha and Krishna, Lord Balaram will not be there. So when we have deities of Radha and Krishna, we do not have Lord Balaram there. We cannot put a deity of Lord Balaram because that's against the nature of the Ras. We see, in, you can see in Vrindavan, Radha Shamsundar have one altar, Krishna and Balaram have another altar. They have separate altars. Uh, serving Lord Krishna in Raga Bhakti helps one to awaken his love for God and the love of God manifests in ecstasies. And we see this kind of ecstasy, this is what we call bhava, we see this bhava manifested in Srimati Radharani. It happened in Vrindavan when Uddhava came there. Uddhava had come from Mathura. Now Uddhava was the secretary of Lord Krishna. And Krishna had sent him from Mathura to go to Vrindavan to bring a letter to the gopis. So Uddhava was the nephew of Lord Krishna and he had bodily features just like Krishna. He had very similar features to Krishna and he would also wear the clothes of Krishna. He would get, wear Krishna's clothes and he would wear Krishna's flower garland. So seeing him immediately reminded people of Lord Krishna. Krishna had gone from Vrindavan and he knew the people in Vrindavan were very attached to him and he knew especially the gopis were very deeply attached to him. So he was concerned about them. 
So he asked Uddhava to go there and to bring a message from him. So when the go when the gopis saw Uddhava, then they knew immediately, oh, he looks just like Krishna. He must be coming from Krishna. So after Uddhava had met Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda and the other senior members of Vrindavan, then it was arranged he would meet with the gopis. And the gopis were very interested to talk to him because they could see, you know, he must be coming from Krishna and they heard he's got a message from Krishna. They wanted to know what this message is and they all gathered around Uddhava to hear him. But there was one gopi, she began to talk to a bumblebee who was flying around her. And she began to talk to this bumblebee that because the bumblebee was flying and coming to touch her feet, was flying around her legs and going to her feet. And so she would she would began to speak to the bumblebee that he was a messenger from Lord Krishna. And she would say to the bumblebee, Don't come near me. I know you're coming with a message from Krishna. I don't want to hear your message. And the go this, this gopi spoke to the bumblebee and said, I know your nature. Your nature is just like the nature of your master, Lord Krishna. He takes the nectar just like you. And she said, just like you, you go to the flower and you take the pollen and then you go away, you leave the flower. You don't come back again. So Krishna came to us and he enjoyed us and then he left us. So I know your nature is just like your master Krishna. So don't come near me. I don't want anything to do with you. You are the unreliable servant of an unreliable master. Just like the student comes and studies from the teacher, he will take all the knowledge from the teacher, then he will go, he forgets all about the teacher. Your nature is just like that.
แล้วก็เขาจะลืมไปเลยเพราะฉะนั้นเธอก็เหมือนเหมือนกับประเภทนักเรียนแบบนั้น You have cheated us. I don't want to be troubled with. I don't want to be cheated anymore. Just leave us alone. Don't come near me. I know all about your Lord Krishna. We heard all about him from Purnamasi. Purnamasi is the elderly lady in Vrindavan. And she knows everything about people's previous lives. So she told us about Krishna's previous life. In his previous life, he was a king, born in a Kshatriya family, and he was a king. And as a Kshatriya, he was approached by the sister of Ravan, Surpanika, but he would not accept her. He would not, as a Kshatriya, he should have enjoyed her and satisfied her, but instead. He cut off her ears and nose and made her look very ugly. As a Nina, uh, Nang Punamasi, got I tam nai, why Nahawa, Quam Jing, a bog, my lale, what Quam Jing, a tati lewa, Krishna Hong Turn, a pen cassa, Lagaton, her cup and cassa, neck, me nong, Kong Ravana, Tishi was super and Hane. I, uh, ชอบเขาแล้วก็อยากเป็นภรรยาของเขาก็ได้เสนอตัวแต่พอเสนอตัวเนี่ยกษัตริย์เนี่ยก็ไม่ยอมรับเขาไว้แล้วก็แถมยังตัดจมูกแล้วก็ตัดใบหูของเขาแจ็คขาดไปเลยความจริงเนี่ยเขาเป็นกษัตริย์ก็จะต้องยอมรับ Another thing he did was he killed Valley he killed the monkey king Valley in a very unfair way he hid behind the tree And then came out from behind the tree and killed him with his arrows. He did not fight fairly. He was a Kshatriya. Kshatriyas are supposed to fight fairly, but he killed Valley in an unfair way. <laughs> หลังต้นไม้แล้วก็แอบยิงเขาซึ่งความจริงการเป็นกษัตริย์เนี่ยไม่ควรที่ทำการต่อสู้แบบนี้เลยควรที่จะต่อสู้ซึ่งซึ่งหน้า And then in his birth before before that the one birth before that he was born in a Brahmana family and as a Brahmana he came to Bali Maharaj to beg charity and Bali Maharaj gave him charity but he sent Bali Maharaj down To the lower regions of the universe, to Patala Loka, although Bali gave him charity, this is what kind of person he is. แล้วก็ยุคก่อนหน้านั้นเนี่ยท่านก็มาในรูปของอวตารพามแแล้วก็มาหาบาลีมหาราชขอทานจากบาลีมหาราชพอบาลีมหาราชให้เนี่ยก็ปรากฏว่ายึดเอาทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างของบาลีมหาราชไปแต่จนสุดท้ายเนี่ยไปให้พัชโลกากมาลิมหาราชที่เป็นโลกชั้นที่ต่ำที่สุด So in this way the gopi was speaking to the bumblebee and making many allegations many criticisms about Lord Krishna ในลักษณะนี้นะคะโกปีคนนี้นะได้พูดคุยกับพึ่งตัวนี้อยู่แล้วก็ได้ว่าคริชนาแบบนี้ให้พึ่งตัวเนี้ยฟัง And she said that I know all about your master He said, "But you know the problem. The problem is that although we don't want to think of him, we cannot stop thinking of him." Even the great sages and saintly persons, 
they also cannot stop thinking of him and talking about him. As soon as we hear a little bit about Krishna and his pastimes, then we, we want to give up everything. We go away from the world and we renounce our family members and all affairs of the material world and just think and become so much absorbed in him. So, so although I don't want to think of him, I can't stop thinking of him at every moment. So then suddenly the bumblebee disappeared from sight. And when the bumblebee disappeared, then the gopi became very disturbed and she became her her ecstasy became even greater that she was thought, well, where has he gone? Maybe he's gone to Lord Krishna to tell him everything I said about him. So she, she was so worried that the bumblebee's gone to tell Krishna about all the bad things I've said about him. Krishna will feel very sorry to hear that I've spoken such a bad way about him. But, but then suddenly the bumblebee reappeared and when the bumblebee reappeared again then the gopi felt some relief, felt great relief and began to express her joy that, oh again you've come back, you must have gone there to Lord Krishna, again you've come back, is, please tell us how is he? Lord Krishna must have sent you to bring me to him. But how will you take me there? You're very small. How will you ever be able to take me to Lord Krishna? Anyway, just tell me, how is Lord Krishna faring in Mathura? He must be in the company of the Goddess of Fortune. The Goddess of Fortune must be embracing his chest. Is, does he still remember us people in Vrindavan? Does he ask about Mother Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj, his foster parents? Does he remember us gopis? So in this way, this gopi was speaking in such ecstasy to the bumblebee, feeling the presence, feeling the, the attachment to Lord Krishna, remembering Lord Krishna. So Uddhava was witnessing all of this. He was greatly impressed to see how much the gopis were absorbed in thinking of Krishna. 
And this one particular gopi who was speaking to the bumblebee, she is identified that she, not directly, but she's described by the word aradhanam. Aradhanam means to worship. And it said this gopi was the best, the most expert in the worship of Lord Krishna. And therefore she is known as Radha. So Srimati Radharani is the, the best of all the gopis because she loves Krishna with the greatest intensity, with the greatest emotion. So, there's a beautiful song written by Srila Rupa Goswami, which we often sing on this day, which is a glorification of Radharani. Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhava Dayate Gokula Taruni Mandala Mahite. So Srimati Radharani is described like this that she's a, a young girl, Taruni. Taruni means a young girl. Gokula Taruni, young girl of Goku. And Gokula Taruni Mandala Mahite. She's worshipped by all the young girls in Vrindavan, in Gokula. They all worship this Srimati Radharani. <laughs> And she is Madhava, Madhava deity, Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhava deity, that she is most dear to Madhava. Madhava means Lord Krishna, of course. So Lord Krishna is Madan Mohan. He can attract many, many cupids, thousands, millions of cupids. Lord Krishna is so attractive that he attracts even cupids. We are controlled by cupid, but cupid is attracted to Krishna. Krishna, Madan Mohan, and she is uh, she Rasrimati Radharani is Madan Mohan Mohini that she attracts Krishna. Although Krishna attracts Cupid, Krishna himself is attracted to Srimati Radharani. So then Rupa Goswami goes on in the song, Damadara Rati Vardana Veshe Hari Nishkuta Vrinda Vipineshe. Damadara Rati, that she attracts Lord Damadar. She attracts Lord Damadar because she dresses in a very pleasing manner. That she's, she dresses in a particular way which attracts the mind of Lord Damadar Krishna. 
บรรทัดต่อไปนะคะก็จะบอกนามโมดาราราตีก็แปลว่านางเนี่ยดึงดูดเอ่อดึงดูดใจของพระองค์เจ้าดามโมดาก็คือกริชนานั่นเองนะคะโดยการแต่งกายอันทำนานของนางทำให้นางดูมีสเสน่ห์มาก Then Vrishabhanu Dadi Navashchileke Lalita Saki Guna Ramita Vishaki. Rupa Goswami goes on to describe Sri Mati Radharani. She is the, the the moon which is born from the ocean of Maharaj Vrishabhanu. When Sri Mati Radharani appears in this world, her father is. Maharaj Vrishabhanu, and the mother, his name is Kirtida. So Maharaj Vrishabhanu and Kirtida, they have their palace there in Varsana, and. Sri Mati Radharani appears there. So she is she is the friend of Lalita, Lalita Sakiguna, Ramita Vishaki, and she gives pleasure to Vishaka. So the two intimate gopis, who are best friends of Sri Mati Radharani, Lalita and Vishaka. Yeah, we see in Vrindavan we have the two gopis, Lalita and Vishaka. In Mayapur we have the eight gopis. We have the Parama Prista Shakis. There are eight gopis, the Asta Shakis. In Mayapur, na ha, me gopi mod pet na na ha, shiva athaski. In Mayapur, there's Tungavidya, Chitra, Champakalata. Then Lalita, Vishaka, Induleka, Rangadevi, Sudevi. These are the Parama Prista Gopis, the very eight most important Sakis who are assisting Sri Mati Radharani in her pastimes. So then, in the final verse, Rupa Goswami says, "Karuna, Karuna, Karumai, Karuna Varite, Sanaka Sanatan Varnita Charite." He says that this Shrimati Radharani is very compassionate. She is very, very kind and merciful. And even, and, but but don't think she's just sentimental or a simple woman. This girl is actually worshipped by the great sages like Sanak Kumar and Sanakan Kumar, that they all offer their respects to Sri Mati Radharani. <laughs> So in this way, we understand the position of Srimati Radharani that she is the she is actually non non different from Krishna. She is, it said initially Radha and Krishna are one, but they separated themselves eternally. And she is the manifestation of that spiritual potency, Ladini Shakti, which meant simply for the pleasure of Krishna. Mm. 
ป็นหนึ่งเดียวนะคะว่าดาราเนี่ยเป็นอดีตศักดิ์ศรีหรือว่าเป็นพลังงานเบื้องสูงของคริสต์ So all of our different moods and emotions, they're all for the pleasure of Krishna. And we learn from the gopis headed by Srimati Radharani. How to serve Krishna in separation? The mood of service in separation is the mood of the gopis. Mm, this is called the vipralamba seva, service in separation. The feeling of attachment to the person is greater in separation than in meeting. So the. So the mood of the gopis was taken up by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the Goswamis of Vrindavan. They all adopted this mood in their service to Krishna, that they served him in separation. We should understand actually the worship of Radharani, Srimati Radharani. It was revealed to us through the, the teachings of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, people were worshiping Krishna, but they didn't understand about Srimati Radharani. They would simply worship the deity of Krishna.